Let's go. Bonjour. Uh, hello. I'm Francis Saeli and I play for Pirates. Let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying my time here in Pirates. Uh, I can't complain because the sun is out. Um, but yeah, really enjoying my time here and my family as well. So uh, beautiful, beautiful city to live in uh, and even a better place to, uh, to play in as well. Um, integration here in uh, Basque or in Biarritz has been awesome. Uh, everybody's been welcoming with open arms and also my family as well. Uh, so yeah, we've um, enjoyed our time here so far. We've been here for six months and we're thoroughly enjoying our time so far and um, you know, there's more to come. Before I was here, I was in uh, Ireland and the UK, so I'm used to the rain and uh, the cold. But the good thing about here in uh, Biarritz is that even though it rains, it's, uh, it's not as cold. So that's something that, that I don't miss about uh, the UK, is uh, obviously cold and rain. But I'm enjoying the, the sun a lot more here than uh, it is in the UK. Ooh, let me have a look at my track, sorry. Favorite song, all right. So uh, I've got a couple songs uh, that I like to uh, listen to while I work out. Uh, one of them is something that we listen to after we win a game. And I'm sure you guys uh, will probably know the song. Pump it up, oh you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up. Oh, nah, nah, we'll leave it there, we'll leave it there, we'll leave it there. So that's uh, one of the songs I like to uh, work out on. Um, other than that, it's got to be anything to do with uh, hip-hop or uh, any gangster rap. If you want to work out in the gym, you've got to pump it up. Man, Remy, if you're watching this, mate, um, he's, he's a good player. The only thing about it is that when we come to card games, we play Mafia. You know, Remy, you're the Mafia, mate, so uh, make sure we, uh, you look after yourself in that game. So, yeah. Who has the best left foot in the team? Um, well, oh, I'll say I'm first. Um, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> I'll say best left foot, well, our two tens, uh, Elian and uh, Gilles. Uh, they both got a uh, you know, good left foot boot. Uh, so I'll say those two, one of those who can uh, compete for the first place. Yeah, well, I think we got a great opportunity to uh, go up into the top 14 this season. I think we've shown promising signs like throughout the season and we've still got a chunk of games to go. So if we just keep playing consistently well, as we have been uh, before Christmas and then post Christmas as well, I think we've got a great opportunity to uh, put ourselves in a good position to go up in the top 14. And uh, I believe in the fact that we have a good group of boys that will take us up to the top 14. But we need everybody out there to keep supporting us. Uh, you know, we're gonna try and do this for you guys. Oh, of course, I miss the supporters. I miss uh, hearing you guys um, cheer for us and making a bit of noise. And obviously when, um, to win the games, uh, just hearing the A up a bowl um, chance going on, but given uh, the whole thing with coronavirus, just make sure you uh, stay at home and uh, look after yourselves. Uh, health is wealth. Oh, that's right. So I went snowboarding last weekend, uh, just in one hour away from Po up in the mountains, and um, let's just say it's a work in progress. Um, I'm not great at the moment, but uh, I really enjoyed it. Stefan Armitage. Uh, took us up there, me and the family. He was teaching me, and I'm sure he was getting a little bit frustrated because, nah, he actually was a good teacher and, um, and teaching me how to snowboard. But hopefully, uh, a couple more goes up into the mountains, you'll see me. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously, we're not happy with the defeat um, against Valance, and obviously, we weren't happy as a group. But as a brother, I know that he's, I'm not going to hear the last of it, but I know that for their team anyway, uh, help them get up from uh, the bottom place. So, you're lucky bro. When we come up to Valance, hopefully we can give one back to you. Um, so my dream as a rugby player when I was growing up back in New Zealand was to always have fun, enjoy it with my teammates and obviously um, playing at the highest level and I had the opportunity to do that which was awesome. But as the years go on and as time goes by, it's just more of the relationships and connections and friendships that I make along the way with the different teams that I've been in as well. Uh, you know, dream is just to, you know, um, build relationships along the way. By the time we hang up our boots and we retire, uh, we can look back and we can meet down at the bar and have a beer with each other and uh, enjoy good times. 
The best memories of being in the BO is obviously winning games. It's more so uh, in the change rooms afterwards, after the game, uh, win or lose. At least I'm sitting next to my teammates in the change room and we get to have a beer, uh, have some food together and make sure we get that camaraderie and the unity together. I like going out into the battlefield with my brothers, uh, going to war with them. So that's what I like about being in the BO. Yeah, um, yeah, I can perform a uh, haka someday. When we win the competition, there's a couple of Kiwi guys in the team as well, but when we win the competition, whoever asks that question, we'll do a haka for you. So yeah, stay, stay tuned anyway. <laughs> Merci, thank you very much for uh, looking through the questions. Hopefully we can get supporters out to the game soon enough. Other than that, stay healthy and uh, look after yourselves and peace. Flash goal. <laughs>